Look, Nicole. It's Facebook. Everybody's watching us. They got cameras everywhere in this house. Are you guys watching us? We got cameras in every corner watching what we're doing. So what's up, Facebook? I'm just getting out of work. Yeah. Tired. Had to take my shoes off at the damn homeowner's house. I was about to say the client's house. At the homeowner's house, I had to take my shoes off. Now, let me explain something to you as a window installer. Sometimes it's very difficult to take your shoes off when working in somebody else's house. And I understand the rules and regulations that they don't want any dirt in their house. But Jesus Christ, I'm carrying a 50 pound, maybe 60 pound window. That shit falls or I let that shit go. That's my toes. That's my foot. That's everything. And I won't be able to work. So help me God. But it seems to me that people just don't care. They just don't care. Right? How long is it going to take to uh, get this job done? It's going to take three to four days. Well, they say it's going to take two days. But did they tell you that you have to move curtains? Take the blinds down? Move your fucking furniture? Move shit that's blocking the window so we can actually get to it real quick? Huh? No, right? So yeah, it's going to take three to four days. So they look at you and they're all pissed off. But they said, uh, what? Mumbling in their mouth, they start mumbling. And uh, the motherfucker said that they're going to take three days. Two days. And then now just finding out that they got to take four days. So now I got to take three days off of my job. Because this guy said it's going to take three days to install my window. But they didn't tell me to take the curtains down and all the other crap. Yeah. So, we have to move your shit. Right? You really think you should be putting that video up? I think so. I think so. I don't have the company's name. It doesn't matter. What if one of your client, your customers... I don't have the company's... Facebook because they like what we do. I don't have the company's name and stuff like that, so they don't know who I work for. Uh -huh. Then again, they could just go into my abouts, right? Yeah. <laughs> You're an ass. I'm going to be an asshole today. But, I do like to say... And I did, and I wrote it down on my front page. I would like to thank Pat Alden. I don't know why I wrote it down, because normally I was going to do a video anyway. So I'd like to thank Pat Alden. Uh, that's Angela Alden's husband. He's a great guy. He helped me out. I got tired of my tires. Get it tired of my tires? My shit just kept on having a slow leak. And every three days, I got to keep filling it up, filling it up, filling it up, filling it up. And I'm just getting, I was getting aggravated. I don't got the money like that to buy a brand new tire. This man was willing to come from a different town to my town to give me a hand. And uh, I really appreciate that. Yeah, I know you guys are like, dude, motherfucker, you just wrote that shit down. Now you're going to do a video about it? <laughs> All right, guys. Good night. I gave you like three minutes and 20, 30 seconds of my life. So I'm going to enjoy my popcorn. Right? Nicole's. Me and Nicole and Angie, we're going to go downstairs and watch a movie. We're going to relax. So, peace.